Good morning, guys. Welcome to Our Sweet Home Life. And guess what I'm making today? I've never made this, and this is going to be a complete experiment today. But I'm going to try making some tomato jam. I saw several different recipes on YouTube, but my problem was I didn't have all the ingredients that they were using. So I'm going to use what I have today, and I'll let you know how it turns out. It may be good. It may be not so good, but then it may be delicious. So stay tuned. We're going to take these tomatoes and chop those up. I'm going to chop some onion up, some bell pepper, some jalapeno peppers. I'm going to use some brown sugar. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in it. And some recipes call for ginger, but I don't know if I have any ginger or not. I'll have to check that one out. And cumin. But I don't particularly like cumin, so I'll probably put a little bit of cumin, but not a lot. So, uh, just watch us. Okay, guys, this is my tomatoes. I use some tommy toes, and I also just use regular tomatoes. They, and I did not peel them. They said once these cook down that the peels just cook down too, and it doesn't really matter. But just make sure you wash them good. So, I have got a... About a six quart pot, half full. So that would be about three quarts of tomatoes that I have chopped up in my pot. Okay guys, here's my bell pepper. I had some left over the other day, so I put it in the freezer. And then I have this bell pepper that was in the freezer. So I'm gonna add that to my tomatoes. Like I told you from the beginning, I'm just using what I have. Okay, here is my roughly chopped bell pepper. I did not chop it real small because they said that this is going to cook, I think, for hours. And it's all going to boil down to get really cooked in well together. So I didn't chop it real fine, just roughly chopped. And then I have some jalapenos that I'm going to add. Okay, guys, I put my jalapeno peppers in there. It's about a half a cup. And I took the seeds out of those so they won't be real hot. Uh, some of the people that I watched on YouTube making it, they left the seeds in. So it's up to you whether you like real hot or you don't. So I've, right now I've got the tomatoes, bell pepper, and the jalapeno peppers. Okay, guys. I got one large onion chopped up and added to our tomato mixture. And Mojo's getting the rest of the ingredients together. So we'll start adding those two. Okay, guys, it says to use three cups of brown sugar, but I don't have brown, uh, three cups of brown sugar. I have two cups of brown sugar. So I have two cups of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar that I'm going to mix together. So don't stress if you don't have all the exact ingredients and just use what you have. And a little tip for your brown sugar if it's getting hard on you. For one, I keep mine in the refrigerator, and that keeps it from getting hard, but still sometimes it does. You can put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then you're able to break it up. So we're going to add this brown sugar mixture here in a minute. Okay, guys, this is another substitute we're using. You're supposed to use two lemons, squeeze lemon juice, but I did not have lemon juice, so I'm using a quarter of a cup apple cider vinegar. So I'm just trying to show you what I'm using, and there's my uh, garlic, two small cloves uh, chopped up. Okay, guys, I've added my quarter of a cup vinegar, and so now I've turned the eye on to medium high and let it start cooking down. Because those tomatoes, as they cook, will start making some juice. And then we'll be adding our other ingredients. Okay, guys, I got two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of black pepper, and then I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I think that'll get her all of her spices. Okay, guys, I got it all in the cooker here, and it's starting to cook a little bit. I'm stirring it up. And I will make you a list of the ingredients at the end of the video, so make sure you watch it all the way through. Because as Granny would say, it's going to be nothing but good. So what we're going to have to do is let this cook down, come to a boil, and then after it comes to a boil, cook it for about 30 minutes and let it on a simmer. So it's going to take a little bit for this to cook down. I'll show you once it comes down and it begins to get thick. We about forgot the cloves. A quarter of a teaspoon 
of ground cloves. So we've added that now. So I, like I said, I will add the ingredients at the end of the video. And also, you can check out my tomato pie. If you have a lot of tomatoes that's going to run, it's delicious. That's one of my favorite recipes. Okay, lovelies, it's looking good, and I can smell those cloves. Can't wait for this to get done because I have never ate any tomato jam, much less made any. So I'm excited. Okay, guys, it's starting to boil. You see those little bubbles? So we're going to let it boil 30 minutes and come back and check on it. It's got to cook until it cooks down and gets thick. And also, look what I have here. I'm going to make a video on how to fry okra. So you're going to have to check that video out when it comes up. Y'all, I just took a taste of this. And this is going to be nothing but good, as Granny used to say. It is good, good, good already. I know it's going to get better and better as it simmers all those flavors together. Okay, guys. It's been about almost 30 minutes since it started boiling. It's probably been on almost an hour, but it came to a boil about 30 minutes ago. So it needs to cook another 30 minutes. I'm getting excited. And here is another idea what to do with all those tomatoes. I have a cucumber tomato salad, and it's on our playlist as well that you may want to check out if you're getting a lot of tomatoes from your garden. So there's a tomato pie on there. There's a tip on freezing tomatoes, um, roasting tomatoes, and now we're making this tomato jam. So these are some ideas that you can use for all the tomatoes you're getting in from your garden. Check it out. Mojo's kind of freshening this up. We made it yesterday or day before when we laid all the cucumbers out of it. So he's adding some fresh cucumbers to our cucumber tomato salad. You'll really love this recipe. Check it out. It's very, very easy for those summer days. When it's hot outside, this is a like cool, uh, salad. You need fresh fresh vegetables in your diet, guys. It makes you feel so much better. It does. Makes such a difference in how you feel. You have so much more energy when you eat fresh vegetables from your garden. And like I said in my video, this is a good way to slip vegetables in your diet. Because you may not eat fresh vegetables, but you'll eat them in salads. Right. Okay, guys. It's starting to get thick. So it's been about 30 minutes. So about a little bit longer than 30 minutes. So I've cut it down to low uh, medium and it's supposed to cook another 30 minutes on low medium as it gets thick so just watch it so it don't stick I couldn't wait I got me a piece of cornbread and put some of that uh, tomato jam on it let's see mmm that is delicious we're trying to check this out it's been cooking about an hour and a half it's still not real thick but I believe as it cools it'll get thicker like I said, we've never made this before. It has a wonderful flavor. Not sure about the consistency. Don't think that consistency is just right. Like some of these, it's still solid. I don't know what's going on with those. But that's the way it's supposed to look. But uh, I think it still needs to cook some more. Okay. Mojo has watched more videos on it than what I have, so we're going to let it cook a little bit longer, and it's been cooking about an hour and a half on low. We'll check back with you. I'm mashing these solids down a little bit. Getting those to break up. Yeah, it really does look like a jam when you get it cooked right. It's still not right yet. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, guys, here it is. To me, it looks more like a relish than a jam, but there it is. You see it, guys? Oh, man, I tasted that stuff a while ago. And if you like something in there for your beans or whatever, that a topping on hot dogs maybe, that right there is kind of, to me, an all-around good flavor, strong flavor stuff. It is good, guys. Well, we're going to put it in some sterilized jars and then put it in a water bath for about 20 minutes 
and then let it sit in the hot water for like say for 10. Or you can just, um, and then after that you take it and you put it in the refrigerator. Mm. So I've never made this before, so we're checking it out. But it's looking delicious and it tastes absolutely delicious. Okay guys, this is my tomato jam. It looks yummy. We're going to really enjoy this this winter. Thank you for watching Our Sweet Home Life. Please like and subscribe and share. And make you some yummy tomato jam too. Bye. We'll see you next time.